Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a good week so far. I've had a few new subscribers recently and I just wanted to say thank you and welcome to our YouTube family. It's been a really exciting week for new releases and one that I couldn't wait to get my hands on is the new Sculpture Holiday Collection from Hourglass. From this collection I picked up the Sculpture Edit Palette and also the Mini Sculpture Unlocked Palette. There is also a lipstick duo as part of the Holiday Collection but as they're shades that I wouldn't typically wear day to day I've not picked it up this time but they are beautiful so I'll link them below just in case you want to take a look. In this video I'm going to be talking you through the contents of both palettes, swatching the shades and also trying them on. I know that some of you will really love Hourglass but you may be wondering whether you really need these palettes based on what you have in your collection already. So I'm also going to be doing some comparisons between this collection, the 2019 Ghost collection and some of their other palettes. The Sculpture Collection is available to purchase on both the UK and US Hourglass websites and I understand that it will also be available at other Hourglass stockists later this month. The packaging of this collection is gorgeous and I'm so glad that they've decided to return to the more traditional Hourglass style packaging. Last year they changed it for the Ghost Collection and this is last year's palette. You can see that it includes this translucent plastic base um, and I can understand what they were trying to do with the Ghost theme but I think in reality it just cheapened the look of the product. This year's packaging however is perfect. Starting with the Ambient Lighting Sculpture Edit, this palette retails for £81 or $80 and for that you're getting six products. The palette includes two finishing powders in dim light and diffuse light, a strobe powder highlight in glistening strobe light, a bronzer in natural bronze light and two blushes. There's a strobe blush in vibrant flush and also a normal blush in mood exposure. The two finishing powders in dim light and diffuse light are part of their permanent range so you are able to buy these powders individually. Um, they were also included in the Ghost palette, so you can see if I put them side by side that the first two powders are the same. The shade Dim Light is also included in the Ambient Lighting palette, it's this one here, so you may have one or both of these finishing powders in your collection already. The strobe powder is new for this collection as is the bronzer and this blush here. Um, this blusher at the end which is mood exposure is part of their permanent range so you can buy those individually as a full size or a travel size. So I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit closer and let's try out the palette. I'm going to start by applying the two finishing powders and I'm just going to mix them together and apply them all over the face with a powder brush. These powders are just so finely milled and they feel very light on your skin. Next I'm going to use the bronzer and I'm just going to apply that using an angled brush. So just buffing that into my um, cheeks and I'm going to keep the colour quite high. I really enjoy the Hourglass bronzers and one of my very favourites is the Luminous Bronze Light. I think that that has been a firm favourite in my makeup bag for quite a while now. I just love how easily these powders blend out. Also just a bit to the forehead and down into the temple and I'm just keeping it quite light because I want this to be sort of a natural glow rather than a full contour. I want to try out both of these blushes so I'm going to apply one to each cheek and I'm going to start with the shade Vibrant Flush. And I'm just applying that to the apple of my cheeks and then blending it up into the cheekbone. And that's just a really gorgeous sort of corally coloured blush. That's a beautiful colour. I'm then going to go in with the shade Mood Exposure. And I'm going in quite heavy with the blush because I want you to see the colour. Both of these are really beautiful shades. They blend out very easily and sit lovely on the skin. I would say of the two sides, I think this one is a little bit more glowy. That is the Vibrant Flush colour. Um, and you would expect that from the Strobe Blush formula. And lastly, I'm going to try out the highlighter in the shade Glistening Strobe Light. And I'm just applying this highlight to the one side of my face because I would like to try out the highlight from the quad palette on the other side. 
and that highlighter is just giving me a very subtle lip from within type of glow. I have a feeling that the highlight in the quad palette will be a bit more intense because it's the strobe metallic formula. Um, but that is so pretty. And I'm just going to apply a little bit down my nose and onto my cupid's bow. I think these shades work really well on my fair skin tone and if your skin is sort of light to medium I think they would also look great. If your skin tone is sort of medium dark to deep I don't think these shades would work for you. I'd like to see Hourglass bring out two palettes in the future, one continuing this type of shade range for fair to medium skin tones and then another for medium dark to deep skin tones just so it's more inclusive and everybody can enjoy the Hourglass products because it is a fantastic formula. Next I have the Mini Sculpture Unlock palette and this retails for £57 or $58 and for this you're getting a finishing powder in soft light and a bronzer in golden bronze light, a blush in mood flush and a metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. None of these shades are included in last year's Ghost collection and they're also not sold individually um, but Hourglass did release an unlock palette, I think it was either the end of last year or the start of this year and as I understand it that was a six pan palette and this is a condensed version so four of those six shades. I don't have the unlock palette myself so maybe if you do and I've understood that correctly you can just confirm in the comments below. And Hourglass donate 5% of profits from the Unlock palette to the Non-Human Rights Project. So I'm just going to try on the bronzer and apply a little bit to my nose, chin and forehead um, just to see how it applies. So again it's blending out very nicely and it's also blending well with the bronzer that I'd already put down. Just a really really lovely shade. And I also want to test out the strobe metallic formula. And that is a gorgeous highlight. Um, I think in comparison to the other side, as we've said before, this one is more of a subtle lip from within type of glow. Um, and this is your more intense blinding highlight. But both powders have got beautiful formulas. So I've swatched all of the brush, bronzer and highlight shades from the two ambient lighting edit palette. The shade on the left side is from the 2019 Ghost palette and the equivalent shade is from the 2020 Sculpture palette. So when we look at all the shades swatched next to each other you can see that they're similar but not the same. Um, the two blushes from the Ambient Lighting Ghost palette, you can see this one is much more pink toned um, and this second blush is much more vibrant and red toned than um, the coral in the new palette. Looking at the two bronzer shades, um, these two look pretty much identical. I don't think that when these are applied to the face you would actually be able to tell the difference. And looking at the highlighter shades, I think the one from the Ghost palette is a lot more pink toned versus the new one in the Sculpture palette which is a bit more warm and has more of a gold undertone. So just now looking at blush shades, um, the first four shades here on the left are from the Ambient Lighting Ghost Blush Quad um, and you can see that these are all quite different shades. This shade here is Mood Flush from the Mini Sculpture Exposure Palette and these last two shades are the two blushes from the Sculpture Edit Palette. So I think most of them look quite different. I would say that these two blushes here do look quite similar, um, the Mood Flush and the Mood Exposure. Um, you could probably get away without having both, uh, but there may be other things in the palette that you like to use. I hope this video has given you a good overview of the Sculpture Collection and maybe helped you to decide what might work for you. If you do decide to pick something up then let me know in the comments below and all of the palettes that I've mentioned in today's video, if they're still available I'll link them for you. That's everything for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos from me hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.